Hey, Mel and crew. Uh, just got a question. Uh, so we stopped and got coffee on our drive home yesterday. Me and my girlfriend uh, had about an hour and a half drive. We get home, and I see her at the microwave, and I'm like, babe, what are you doing? And this psychopath is warming up her gas station coffee from an hour and a half prior. I don't know. I just thought it was super weird. Wanted to hear y'all's thoughts. Also, uh, you know, we did go through San Marcos, and I wanted to check out the campus, and I saw a forerunner at the Zeta house with a golden retriever puppy uh, locked in there, and the windows <laughs> rolled up, and I just surely know that Wash Media doesn't support animal abuse. Wanted to make sure it wasn't Dorn. All right. Love you guys. Yeah, surely that was uh, some some other guy with a forerunner and a golden retriever puppy, because that wasn't me, sir. Um <laughs> incriminated this, this coffee in the microwave thing i do this all the time and every time i do it i ask myself if i'm being weird when i do it wow but i mean i make i make like a, a big pot in the morning i usually get through about two-thirds of it and so i have some left over and sometimes late afternoon i want another cup of coffee so i'll just pour it in a, in a mug and i'll throw it in the microwave and i'll hit the little 30 second button three times minute and a half boom and it, it tastes fine is it weird no, my this actually brings me back. My mom used to do this all the time okay. with her coffee, and I always thought it was weird. That she did, <laughs> <laughs> but you do the you do the thirty second button. You just hit it three times, and it yeah. and it adds up. Yeah, what? Yeah. You didn't know that? No, what? Yeah, if, if it's if it's but, if it's not, if you can't cook something in thirty second intervals, and it, it's not for me. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, even yeah. if something is like, oh, for a minute fifteen, it's like, nope, I'm pressing it three times in a row. It's you know how 30. you know how you can see like the wear buttons on your on your microwave or like the the smudge marks. Yo, you're, you're... My my time cook button <laughs> is completely clings. I never use it. Yeah, it's just thirty seconds. Thank you. I do the yeah. exact same thing, Dylan. I do the exact same thing. Yeah, come on. I don't you didn't like, know that. Like, <laughs> that's funny. I don't like microwave stuff. Like... Really? Well, okay. I I have no reason for this. Like, I'm not one of those people that thinks like microwaving stuff's gonna kill you. There are certain things I won't microwave, styrofoam, plastic containers, things like that. I'll put everything on like a plate. Metal. Metal. Like I just styrofoam, yeah. can you even microwave that? I don't think so. Okay, yeah. So but like I've seen people do that and I'm like, that seems gross. But like I I can't do super hot liquid anyway. So reheating something is just never something in my wheelhouse. I like have to wait ten minutes for my coffee or tea to cool down and then I just pretty much pound it until it's gone. I, that's all I do. It's weird coming from a guy who's like obsessed with ice water. You like one extreme, but you don't like the other. Yeah, I love ice water. Ice water is the best drink on on planet Earth. But hot, like too hot of a liquid, I just can't do it. And putting it in the microwave, that's just asking me to burn my tongue a second time. I do my coffee as hot as I can, as hot as as I can handle it, to where, to where it doesn't burn me. I like, think this was like an early childhood thing for me. I don't think my parents served me like piping hot food <clears throat> as a kid. Like it was always like warm, but not like yeah. super hot. Because I just have an extreme sensitivity to yeah. hot liquids. I can't do it. Having said what I said about me heating, like reheating up coffee, I don't think I would do this with gas station coffee. Um, but some gas station coffee is actually really good. Some places do it really well. Some like uh, nicer Valeros, for example, will do a really good coffee. Yeah. So I, I would probably do that. But just basic Seven Eleven coffee, that that just I'm pouring that down the sink. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reheat that. I'll just make my own pot at that point. Is it weird that I'm more apt to reheat tea in the microwave than coffee? I just feel like that's less weird than coffee. I don't know why. I don't do hot tea, so I can't really relate to this one. Okay. I just think it, maybe it's. Like I don't the, think both are that weird. Yeah. Like, yeah I don't, I don't think this think is weird at all. Coffee's weirder than tea to me for some reason. So my buddy did hit me up one time, and he was like, "This is." He's like, "Am I being weird right now?" He's like, "I just I got a I got iced coffee." This morning from a coffee shop, and he's like, and I kind of drank some of it and forgot about it all day, but he put milk in it, and he's like, I'm about to drink this iced coffee four hours later in my office. Is it weird that this milk has just been sitting on my desk for four hours, and now I'm about to drink it? And I was like, well, you just ruined, I, you just ruined milk and coffee for me, because now I'm like, <laughs> wait, yeah, I can't let that sit around for more than yeah, like you 20 can't, minutes. You can't let milk get room temp for too long. Uh, it becomes gross. And I was like, yeah, I, I've probably done this a million times and never even thought about it. 